Here is a Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset without using the remote. Okay, very simple here. So first thing you got to do is you have to locate where the power button is on the TV. Now for my Amazon Fire TV, mine is directly underneath in the middle. Okay, right where that Fire TV logo is. So let me just go ahead and show you really quickly. So mine is located right here, that button right here. If yours is not located in the uh, middle, um, in the middle bottom, then what you want to do is look over here. If it's not here, look up here. Not there, look over here, look over here. Okay, anyway, mine is right there. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and pull the power plug to the TV. We're going to pull it just like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to press and hold that power button, and we're not going to let go until after we plug it back in and the Fire TV logo appears, then we'll let go of the power button, okay? So we'll do it together. My power button is here. I'm ready, set. Go. I'm pressing and holding. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my TV. And now I'm still holding on to the power button. Now just wait. It typically takes about 10 seconds. Just wait until the Fire TV logo appears. I'm still holding on to the power button. Okay. Fire TV logo. Now I can go let go of the power button. And give us one second. And this will boot us up into the Android recovery menu. Very similar to an Android phone if you guys are familiar uh, with that. Okay. So now from here what we want to do is we want to go down to white data slash factory reset. Now how do you move down? You use the power button, okay? You just tap it. Okay, so I'll tap it. I'll tap again, and there we are. Now we're at white data slash factory reset. Now if I want to select it, I have to press and hold the power button now. So I'm gonna press and hold, and wait for this blue to change color. Okay, ready, power button ready, press and hold. The blue changes to green. Now I can go ahead and let go. This screen here pops up here, basically saying that once you do this, this cannot be undone. Don't forget, with the factory reset, we're going to be erasing everything. And once the factory reset is done, it's going to be as if you bought the TV brand new. And you got to start off with um, the setup process, choosing your language, and so on. So we, so we do want to um, proceed with the factory reset. So we have to go down and highlight yes. So we're going to tap the power button. Just tap it. Now we're highlighted with yes. Now we're going to select it. We're going to press and hold. And then once this changes to green, go ahead and let go. And then let us do his thing. Okay, this whole process is going to, oops. So from here, it highlights reboot system now, which is what we want next. Okay, so to select it, remember, press and hold. Press and hold until this uh, blue changes to like green. Ready, go. Press and hold. Changes to green. Now let go. Now it's going to go ahead and perform the factory reset. This whole process will take about three minutes, so you need to be patient here. All right, there we go. So pretty simple. Now the thing is, if you got on the here and your remote's, your original remote's not paired, just go ahead and press and hold the uh, the home button. Press and hold it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go, and then try it, okay? Good luck, guys.